Hi guys, Pastor Joe. Again, I think one of the things I like to talk about the most is just to be able to, to thank you guys for being the Church of Jesus Christ. I get to watch every day so many things happen, whether it's making sandwiches for the homeless, whether it's watching you gather at the hospital or at hospice to support each other or at funerals or making food for people who are coming to funerals, uh, your love for people when they're getting married, uh, just supporting one another. And you know, one of the keys, I think, to, to healthy churches is when you're doing all this kind of stuff, you don't have time for crazy stuff that goes on. You don't have time to argue about this or fight about that because uh, these kids need me. I've got to get to this class and teach or I've got to help this person or i got to get dinner to this person or my, my friend's depressed. i I got to go and, and sit with them and talk talk to them for a while and encourage them. And Man, it is so fun for me to be able to preach at a church that is being the church. And we've got a lot of victories to celebrate. Um, the purpose of the church is to make disciples and people, new people who are following Jesus. And this past week, we had 22 people make decisions to become disciples of Jesus. Some of them came at a fine arts camp. Some of them came at a grade school camp. Uh, some of them came here at church this weekend. Some of them happened out at the ocean. But 22 people gave their lives to Jesus Christ and were baptized. And guys, that's, that is a direct result of the church being the church. That's you inviting your friends and your family and your neighbors and, and saying, hey, you need to come be a part of this. And, and you need to come and, and let God love you the way he's loved me. Other victories that, that have gone on, we've got our team going to Spain. We've got a team that's uh, been in Virginia doing great work, working with a mission group up there called Equipping the Saints. Another 16 children were baptized uh, out at the Navajo Reservation. We're talking about planting a church on the Apache Reservation. We're working with Palm Bay right now. Our team just got home from Mexico, had an incredible week down there. The church building that we built in Guatemala in the dump, uh, we've got a link to that here. You'll see there's, they're not, the building's not even done, but it's full, full of people worshiping the Lord. They're making disciples. Well, I don't know, maybe you can tell I'm a little excited. Listen, this weekend I get to preach from Malachi chapter 1, and we're going to continue our Settler series, and we're, we're going to talk about not settling for year-old milk. I don't know what you think about sour milk, but I can tell before it gets sour that it's going sour. I want you to think about a gallon of year-old milk, what it would smell like, what it would look like. and Tragically, sometimes we settle for that when it comes to our worship time with God. So read Malachi 1, and we're going to talk about how to get some fresh milk back into our lives. God bless you. I love being your pastor.